In this video, we'll figure out the oxidation numbers for each of these elements here in C2H5OH. That's ethanol. This ANOL here, that tells us it's an alcohol, and it's referring to this OH group here bonded to one of the carbons. In fact, here's the OH group, and it's bonded to a carbon. So to figure the oxidation numbers out, we have some general rules we'll follow. Let's start by writing down what we do know. We know that hydrogen, when it's bonded to a non-metal, that'll be plus one. Carbon's a non-metal. So each one of these hydrogens is going to be plus one. We also know for oxygen here, with a few exceptions, oxygen's always going to be minus two. So we'll put our minus two here for oxygen. What we need to figure out now are these carbons here. And they're different. This carbon here is bonded to three hydrogens. This carbon here has this alcohol group. So let's think of it as kind of two separate pieces. We'll figure out the oxidation number for this carbon, and then we'll figure out the oxidation number on this side here. We have plus one, plus two, plus three. That means this is going to be a minus three to balance that out. On this side here, we have plus one, plus two, plus three, and then we have this minus two. So overall, this is plus one. So to balance that out, this needs to be a minus one. Because when we add up all of these oxidation numbers, it needs to equal zero. So here, these all equal zero. And here, if you add all of these up, one, two, three, plus three, and then minus three, those will give you a net oxidation number of zero. So these are the oxidation numbers for C2H5OH. So to recap for this one, we wrote the oxidation numbers for the elements that we knew based on these rules. And then for this one, ethanol, because we have these two carbons and they have different things attached to them, we figured out the oxidation number on each carbon based on what it was bonded to. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.